Is it all worth the effort? So many variables are heading in the wrong direction. Habitat loss, health, water, energy, and also economic vitality. The whole sustainability of the planet is in question. And also, there are pressing social issues, kindness and decency, and depression, anxiety, etc. Many are simply trying to survive. We do so much good, and yet we demand so much of people and the planet. We've never been so empowered and yet so challenged. Can I make a positive difference? To be honest, the slow pace of change in education and society at times leaves me frustrated. Yet I am encouraged. We have more open data, better tools, better models that we can also share with each other, and thoughtful, energetic, wonderful, visionary people. Individuals and organizations creating positive change. Look, teaching and research are hard. I salute the thousands of educators around the world that I have worked with over 30 years. Geo-awareness is at an all-time high. Geo-enablement is also peaking. People are empowered to use geotechnologies. Maps are seen as a fundamental part of the human experience. Geotechnologies in the cloud has opened many doors in primary and secondary education, and in higher education, spatial thinking is becoming a part of instruction in data science, business, civil engineering, and elsewhere. Very encouraging. Citizen science coupled with mapping has impacted many aspects of society in positive ways. In habitat protection, invasive species, water quality, and many more. Telling stories with maps is huge. There are over 3 million story maps alone. And a widening diversity of people doing spatial analysis is very encouraging. Data-driven decisions are incorporating spatial considerations. Ethics are increasingly considered in mapping. The geographic perspective is increasingly valued. Geoliteracy in education and society is gaining ground. Holistic systems thinking is on the rise, cycles and spheres, including recognition of indigenous knowledge and topophilia. Given all of this, I will battle on to encourage spatial and critical thinking through spatial analysis and mapping. I encourage you to do the same. Because, yes, it really is worth the effort.